was the question I kept on asking myself. How could I have been so blind? I was convinced the Broncos had gotten the wrong man for the job, but maybe De Silva was right. I was the stooge. The bad joke everybody got but me. guys wheeled their trash out on stretchers, or something was seriously wrong here. slept in days. I needed something to keep me going. Hotel was a five-star bona fide shithole. I needed to find out why guests were checking in by the busload and checking out by the bag load. Maybe the service would be better upstairs.
Lasso's ID card. It was no great surprise he'd made their hit list, but to discover he was really Colombian? No wonder some locals seemed to laugh at his accent. What else had he lied to me about? De Silva and I had the same fan club. I knew enough and he knew too much. We'd both become targets. Bastards were going, they wouldn't need medication. I needed to find a way upstairs. Surely nobody would notice another hole in the wall. I knew this thing was bigger than me, bigger than the Broncos, but I only had a glimpse of the whole picture, like looking in the mirror and for an instant seeing what everyone else sees, a bad caricature of a better man. That deal at the favela was getting dirtier by the minute. Those bastards were clearly in bed with the crush of Prado. Now I just had to find out why. Starting with a bit of bedtime reading for Mr. De Silva. When you've lived the kind of life I've lived, reality comes at you through a different lens. But nothing could have prepared me for what was on the other side of that door. I had to get those poor bastards out of there. Get them out of here. Go. Go. Wait. I said get. Serrano. Serrano. He looked pathetic. A man defeated. I walked away and left him to his own personal nightmare. Whatever hell this was De Silva had sent me into, I knew I had to put an end to it. I had no choice but to push on. I didn't understand everything, and I never would, but I understood enough. Sometimes a complicated problem is best tackled with a simple solution.
This was hell on earth. De Silva was no fool. I'd have driven on off into the sunset too if I were him. But I was in too far now. There were still two more floors above. If I thought about this too much, I'd never... It looked like Victor had won the sympathy vote, found his universal connection to the people, triumph out of tragedy. Part of me couldn't help thinking that had been his plan all along. Time to see what fresh hell awaited me upstairs. soundtrack to my life. And, for a few seconds, came harmony. Serrano owed me. He paid enough. For now, I had bigger debts to call in. Even I could guess what Demolisao meant. That building was condemned in more ways than one. Had to be 
be something I wasn't seeing. fucking arsenal in here. It was time to bring this little hellhole to the ground, so I decided to put some of their C4 to good use. this too much, I'd never get through it. Either Victor Bronco and Nevis were doing a lot of charity work together, or this was payment for something else. Would a crush of Prado in Victor's pocket? Had he tipped them off about the stadium exchange? I had to hurry up before more of those assholes showed up. It was locked from the outside. dark shit in my time, but this was something else. These vermin had gone into a place where life was cheap and found a way to get rich off it. I just wanted to finish this and get far away from here. But then through the form, more of the rats came out of their holes. <laughs> enough to leave the gate open.
time I bought, it had been going real cheap. If I was gonna plant the rest of those explosives, I had to do it now. chance to do this right. I had to focus. of the explosives. I just hoped it was enough to bring down the building and all the evil in it. Who wants to take a shot? You see what this is? Come on, anybody? Want to be a hero? I got nothing to lose. Let's do it. Que porra que tá acontecendo aqui? Senor Neves. What the fuck is your problem, man? My problem? My problem? Wanna know what my problem is? You're turning humans into glue! That's what my fucking problem is! I don't know what you're talking about, American! All I know is what I hear about you. You bodyguard for the Brancos. They are all dead. You help the poor. Today, many of them dead. You are a proper American hero. At least I fucking tried! Well done with your effort. The whole city is grateful. The great American savior of the poor. That's right. You think you made any difference? You think stopping this legitimate business venture is helping anyone? Legitimate? You're stealing people's organs! We pay for everything. We have the records. Oh, so people can sell their livers? Their hearts? Their eyeballs? You're insane, you sick fuck! We kept people safe in the city! Decent people! Safe! I know a lot of powerful people. Well, your powerful people are gonna help you out of this one, buddy.
told you the city was dangerous, friend. Yeah, I kinda like it. It's growing on me. <laughs> nice to see your happy tourist smiling. <laughs> What are you doing here? I came back. I can see that. But why? To save you. Oh, yeah, real hero. Listen, it's now could come with me, Max, to Brazil. Be a chance to play the fall guy in a plot that my boss and brother's hatching to profit from the selling of human organs. Yeah, it'll be perfect for you. What are you talking about? I don't know nothing about human organs, man. Victor and Marcelo are trying to teach Rodrigo a lesson. Get into losing the purse strings and the family money. They pressured me into doing it! You wanna die? I came back for you! I did my best! I'm having a kid, Max! I gotta go! Fuck you! Sure. Later. Now, let's go! Hope this thing works. <laughs> <laughs>